Hi guys, how are you? Mind this one, Titanium. Welcome back. Let's do another video of debunking bullshit. The 2% 10 year yield. No break of that key level. Okay, let's see uh, about this uh, key. The key level. The key, key level. Everything is a key level. Let's see. Uh, right? As always, if this is the best you American got, you know, yeah, okay, I like that, I do, but at some point it's like, eh, okay. Uh, as always, okay, we did that. Uh, the 2.12% uh, 10 year yield closes here and get next uh, day uh, selling. Low channel broken. I don't know what channel he's talking about, to be honest with you. But some fictitious channel in his head, I don't know what it is. So far, nobody can refute my economic model of recession. The bears have learned. The fact that the market is going up has nothing to do with your recession bear uh, <laughs> model. <laughs> okay, because the two of your six models, one being the inverted yield curve, never happened before after QE, never happened with uh, interest being paid on reserves, and uh, it's never happened with deficits is bogus it's null and void leading indicator leading indicator in 2007 and 8 was not showing a recession because it did not include credit and it, now that if you look at the leading indicator it does show credit okay which is great but what what's going to be the next thing they don't add and then they're like oh shit, well, we gotta add this too so if you look at the leading indicator now it, it, you know, it shows perfect fucking uh, telling you what, what happened after the fact. After the fact, it's telling you, oh, yeah, look, it predicted it. The leading indicator predicted it. Yeah, but it didn't predict it in 2007 and 8. Any kind of these famous uh, indicators that are out there, they don't work. The market already prices it in. They, they know it before the, these indicators say anything. Okay, it's already baked into the price. Everybody and their fucking mom knows what an inverted yield curve is. They know what a leading indicator is. All these things, it's 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 not a secret. Okay, and if it's not a secret, don't think that you know something that nobody else knows. The entire planet uh, stock uh, investors know it, and they've priced it in, and they don't give a shit. Okay. We're 6% from all-time highs. Doesn't mean that things can I get worse from here on in and then uh, they will start to sell it off and whatever. That's not what it means. But you cannot go out and start saying, oh my God, you know, we're going into recession, we're going into recession. So his little model, okay, <laughs> is based on backtesting, okay? And backtesting, I can promise you right now, it always looks fucking perfect. Backtesting, man, if I'm, I'm a backtesting motherfucker, and I'm not rich. Why? Because it doesn't work. And that's why I keep telling you, don't listen to these guys that are going to sell you bullshit. That they have some crystal magic ball and they're going to tell you what's going to... Nobody knows when it's going to happen. And when the recession does happen, it's going to be like, you know, December uh, uh, 2018. When everything just kept going down, 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 down. And everyone's like, oh my God, what's going on? Yeah, that, that's how fast it's going to happen. Believe me. Uh, oh, now it's a 1.96% 10-year. Okay. 1.89. Ooh. 1.85. 1.84. 10-year yield. And the new article on what it takes to break under 160. So now, see, he's... Uh, he's predicting. And 1%. While we're at it, let's throw that 1% in there. Okay, because he's a good little predictor. The fucking st the yields are crashing, and now he's coming up with key areas. Like, wasn't the 210 a key area? What happened? Now it's the 160 is a key area. 1.75, you know, decent reversal. Like, this is useless information. Completely fucking useless information. 1.73. Calm morning so far. 1.73. Wait a week. One for the ages. If you pull, uh, if these pullbacks make you nervous, you shouldn't be in the stock market. Period. <laughs> like <laughs> he is fucking almighty. 
He is the strong man. He will tell you how it is. Please. 1.7. 1.58. There goes a 60. The key area. The key technical level still held. This is twice now. Ooh. Very strong beat on the retail sales. 10 uh, year yield sells off to 1.58. Remember, 1.56 now is the fucking key level. It's critical. It's a critical here. How many fucking key and critical areas have we had so far? Very strong beat on retails sales. Uh, 10 years sell off. Uh, same shit. 1.48 on the 10 year yield. Closing yield is key today. America, woohoo, let's clap. We're strong. The charts and fire. Very strong beat on retail sales. 10, uh, 10 year yield sells off. Okay, we did that one already. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel right now. Like, what the fuck is he talking about? Is he fucking crazy? Right? But you can't make this shit up. You cannot make this shit up. As I write in my little book, that um, you're going to have these people that, you know, if there's a, a wave going up, right, that they're going to be heroes. And then you're going to have another wave going down, and there's going to be new heroes. And all these people, what they're going to do is, that, you know, there's various kind of these clowns. There's the, the quote kind of clown, which is Raul Pal, right? <clears throat> what he does is he'll, he'll bring in a whole bunch of different people and he'll get the bearish aspect and be like, he said that you should buy gold. And then go to the next guy and be, he said that based on his analysis, the market is going down in the next 16 to 12 months or 12 to 16 months. And then bring another guy and this one, he said in the next six months, we're going to go lower. Okay, that's the quote guy. He always, he, he never has the fucking balls to come out and say, well, I predict this. Right, uh, and if he does, he'll give you a whole bunch of fucking like. Well, this is based on my evidence. Look at these charts over here. This is the one month, and this one over here. Uh, this other indicator is the ten-year average, and if they cross, then they do this. Then this is a forward-looking indicator, and uh, we can uh, pretty much assume that every time this happens, there is a recession. Yes, there is, absolutely. And uh, as quoted by uh, so and so, right? So you got the quote, guys. And then you got the text walling. Or the chart walling, which is Logan. He's just going to bombard you with a whole bunch of fucking text messages, charts, overwhelm you and be like, yeah, see, yeah, I know shit better than you do, man. And whenever the fucking data comes up fucked up, well, this is actually uh, better than I expected. You know, this is actually really, really good. Yeah, it tanked to zero. That's, well, that's good. That's good. I, I thought it was going to go negative one. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Uh, so that's 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 the the text walling guy, okay, and then uh, you have the other ones who are perma bulls and puma bears like uh, Schiff. Uh, it's either we're gonna go to socialism and if we don't print money, we're all fucking gonna die. We're all gonna be fucking starving to death. And then you have the gold bugs. If you don't buy gold and silver, the fiat is worthless. You're gonna go to the, you know the game over and we're all fucked. And we're gonna be poor and we're gonna die. So these are the different kind of uh, scam artists. And then you have the, the, the old prophet. He's, he's unique. <laughs> he comes out one day. He's like, yeah, you got to buy down uh, uh, downside protection here. Things are not looking good. Oh, no, this is great. You know, I think the worst is over the next day. Right? I make all profits. See? Uh, oil is going to go up. It went down. It came up a little bit. See? I told you. I was right. <laughs> the, the dollar is the mother of all shorts when the fed raises rates they tell you what they're going to do you want to sell the dollar when they start raising rates because it's the opposite of what everybody else on the whole fucking planet believes and what happens the dollar goes up and then what does he do when it goes up uh, yeah see it went down a little bit see uh, I was right I, you know this is working exactly the way I, I planned it I knew this was going to happen. I pay with time. All profits, baby. And you got the other morons every single day. Well, you know, we're in the autumn stages. If you were to think about it in a season kind of way, we are in autumn going into winter for 10 years. You know, we're going into winter time. And, you know, after that uh, winter, spring is going to come and it's going to be great, but we're not there yet. And those fuckers never commit to anything. 
Well, I didn't necessarily say that, you know, we're going to go into a recession. No, it's it's possible we can go a little bit further up, but, you know, we're in the autumn stages. <laughs> all these guys are fucking clowns, all of them, one after the fucking other. The, the, the guy I just did now, he'll never fucking commit to anything. Never, never. Those people never commit. And then when it does happen, it's, you know, I've been uh, predicted this, and... Uh, you guys should have known better. Yeah, you've been predicting it for fucking 10 years. Man, you know, none of these guys are going to show you their portfolio when they're buying, when they're selling. None of them. Nobody. Only real macro does that shit. I'll show you my good calls. I'll show you my bad calls. It is what it is. What can I do? I, I do everything in real time. And that's just the way it is. If I'm wrong, then fuck, I'm wrong. If I'm right, well, I'm right. I'm just lucky. More often than I'm unlucky. So that's it for this video. If you guys want to keep listening to these guys, I think the new niche market, like I, I told Ed, is just tell the truth. This is what the world needs right now. There's nobody out there telling you the truth. The world needs to know the truth. And that's what I'm going to always strive to do. Tell you what the truth is. And when the facts change, so do I. But until they do, I'm not changing it. Okay? So... Come down to patreon.com slash real macro if you guys want the real deal. Uh, a number of services now available to uh, cater to everybody. Uh, and, uh, you know, stop listening to these clowns. Stop listening. And and Logan is one of the good ones. But for me, he's over to the dark side somewhere. We lost him too. And, uh, you know, he's a smart guy. But what good is it? If he's going to sit here, this is a key level. No, this is a key level. If this level breaks, this is a critical area. No, this is a critical area. Use this fucking information. Why, why do I need somebody to tell me what the obvious is? I'll just pull up a fucking chart. Look, oh, eh, bonds, bonds are going up. Yields are going down. Yep, yeah, got it. Thank you. What key area? What level? This is a key area. And this is a key area. This is a key area. Oh, this is a key area. This is critical. This is a key area, and, you know, this is better than I expected, and this is a key area, and this is a key area. What fucking key area? What channel is the fuck is he talking about? I mean, seriously, what what in the world is he talking about? Anyway, that's it. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.